Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Grow Kit. Uh, so we're out in the veg garden today and um, I've got a couple of things I want to do today. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is get these garlic planted out uh, that I started in this tree. Uh, these were just all the little tiny leftover cloves uh, from my harvest last year. And also uh, I want to try some seed potatoes uh, in containers. Uh, so I've got a couple of 10 litre buckets here and I'm just going to put one in each and see how they go because uh, I've never tried them in containers before so uh, I want to see how they do uh, so I will set the camera up and we'll head over and make a start ok so these are the garnet um, that I just bunged in this tree um, so today we're going to plant them out uh, so I'm going to put them along here with my other garlic um, the other garlic's doing really well now see they've all come up um, so I'm just going to put another row in just complete this end row here and see how we go Okay, so um, I've got to try and get these out of here. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. So they don't mind too much. So generally you can just pull them out, like this one. Uh, so it's got some good roots there. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a row along here. So. Uh, this first one, I'm going to leave a little gap from where that one is and do it about six inches or so apart. Uh, so it's just a case of digging a small hole for it and putting it in and gently firming down the soil around it. Uh, you want the bulb completely buried and leave the majority of the green shoot above. Uh, so there's one in there, so I'll just show you another one. Okay, so I put one in here and I'm just going to show you one more. Um, so we'll take this one. So about six inches or so apart from there. Uh, you can use your trowel and uh, just kind of measure the gap. So about three quarters of a trowel length apart, I would say. And as long as you've got enough room to weed in between, uh, then you should be fine. So just dig a small hole and place them in. And then just gently firm the compost around the edge uh, to stop it coming out. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I've put another two rows of garlic in there, and I think that's definitely enough now. <laughs> I think we've got about 60 plants in there now. So, this whole end of the bed's basically garlic. Um, there's a few odd on onions which I've bunged in there as well, so uh, we'll see how they go. Uh, but they keep getting pulled out, so uh, we just have to keep an eye on them. 
So that's what we've done. Two rows of garlic. And that's the That's all that garlic in. Right, so now we're going to do the potatoes. Uh, I'm just going to do one in each bucket and I'm going to just go for two buckets. Uh, if it works well this year, then I'll do more buckets next year. Uh, but uh, we'll see how they go. So uh, these are my first earlies Pentland Javelin, which is a nice pink pink ones um, so I'm going to put one of each in one of these 10 litre uh, flower buckets uh, I'll just cut some holes in the bottom of each one uh, just with my hacksaw just cut a triangle out of four triangles at the bottom there um, uh, I've got some more compost this, this stuff here Mana Farm so I'm going to use that. Uh, it doesn't look great to be honest, but it'll be fine for the potatoes. And um, I've got some organic fertilizer, so I'm just going to chuck a handful in each bucket. Okay, so I'll make a start on that. Right. So I'm just going to tip half this bag of compost in the wheelbarrow. Okay, so that should be enough to do the both pots, hopefully. And I'm just going to mix in, oh, if I can get the lid off, oh. uh, well, to be fair I'm just going to stick all that in there, that's all that's left, uh, but that's just organic fertiliser, uh, seaweed and blood and bone stuff, uh, so we'll give it a good mix up. So, uh, if you're handling chemical fertiliser, uh, wear gloves, but organic seaweed, blood, fish and bone, um, you don't need to wear gloves, unless you want to. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I'd have to go and get the well, <laughs> uh, so I've got one of each, um, not one of each, um, just two of the little ones. Uh, so I'm going to half fill this, more or less. And just going to place one in each tub and put a few inches also on top and I'm not going to fill it up completely yet so when this comes up um, I'll then put some more on That's that one done. Right, so we'll see how these go. I'll keep you updated on them. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep them in my lean to because uh, it's slightly warmer in there. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll get some nice early new potatoes. 
uh, in a couple of months. Uh, so um, you've probably noticed I've been moving things around out here. Uh, but we'll update you fully on everything else uh, on the next episode. Uh, as I've been busy over there as well. Uh, moving around all the trees. And you'll notice the new herb planter there. Uh, but like I said, um, I will update you on all that on the next episode. Uh, but for now, I think we're done for today. Okay everyone, uh, so uh, that's them potatoes in and my garlic in. Uh, so I will keep you updated on them. Uh, we'll see how they go. Um, hopefully I'll get some nice early new potatoes. And hopefully should get a huge crop of garlic this year. Um, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, it's Friday today. Uh, early March. So have a few weeks and I can start sowing tomatoes and stuff uh, but I'm trying not to get ahead of myself this year I'm trying to uh, not to start too early <laughs> otherwise it end up with huge plants in the house because <laughs> uh, my greenhouse is naked and all I've got is that little cold frame at the moment so and obviously the lean to but uh, that doesn't get any sunlight uh, but anyway guys, um, thank you so much for watching, um, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't done so, and leave a thumbs up on the video, and and feel free to leave a comment. Uh, see you next time guys, have a great weekend, bye.